What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. How's it going, everyone, and welcome to episode 72 of the Lost Media Podcast. Today, we're talking about Newt, the only Pixar movie ever to be cancelled anyway through production. Uh, there's been a lot of Pixar movies that have been pitched and a lot of ideas that have, thrown, that have been flown around. This is the only Pixar movie to get some way through the production and then get completely stopped. And that is because there was a new person taking over the reins. This always happens in these companies of all these lost media topics I've spoken about. There's a new person taking over and they just decide to cut things. Happened with Batgirl and it happened with Dumbo 2 when John Lasseter took over the department. Um, this always happens every single time. He was actually willing to do it though. This was the difference. He didn't take over Brad Bird and say, hey, eh, nah, let's just not do this. He said... I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. But I've also got another idea I'm interested in, and it's called Inside Out. We know what happened there. One of the reasons why this was cancelled, there's several reasons. One of them is it was too close to a movie called Rio that was being released by Blue Sky. I think Rio was released by, I'm pretty sure. And it was coming out in the same year. And so they were like, oh, this movie looks so similar to ours. We don't want another Bugs Life Ant situation. We don't, want, we don't want to go backwards here at Pixar. We want to move forwards and break through barriers. And this movie didn't look like it was breaking through any barriers. It just looked like a little nice, you know... It didn't look like a really nice movie, actually. It looked like one of their bombs, potentially. It w could have been their shark tale. Literally could have been their shark tale. Um, it was replaced in favor of Brave in 2012, which ended up being eh. Like, it didn't end up being bad, didn't end up being good uh, or very good. It was, I think it was just good. I don't think Brave it was, you know, anything special. I didn't watch Brave because it was a bit past my time of uh, watching Pixar movies, you know. I still watch them all the time, the old ones, the ones I grew up with, Cars, Ratatouille, Ratatouille, uh, the bootleg version of Ratatouille. Oh, my God. And, you know, I, I, I love them. I love Attack on Titan. That's a great Pixar movie. But, Newt, the general plot of this movie is there's two newts and they've been captured by a researcher. They're meant to be the only two newts left on the planet and they're supposed to mate. Already for a kid's Pixar movie, it's like, I see what they're going for. They're going for something lighthearted, but already it's like, uh, okay, no, I'll give it a chance. And so the whole movie is based around them trying to mate. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> and the female character hates him for obvious reasons, and he's just like, I'm a newt. <laughs> so stupid. And the female character in the movie has an actual normal conventional name for a girl, and Newt's name is Newt. That's what they're going for here, guys. Um, I think it's a hastily put together idea, but at the same time, it's because I think they were going between creators and between creative directors of Pixar, and that's why this idea actually went a few steps ahead. And there was someone who was really passionate about this. There was an Easter egg that appeared in Toy Story 3 for this. Like, they were they were sure they were going to release it. And Pixar had never abandoned any ideas before. So, it, it kind of became, oh, they're not, they don't abandon ideas, Pixar. If I can just get this off the ground and get it to a level of, oh, we start making test animations and concept art and maybe a storyboard and get the idea going. This might actually happen. So someone was passionate about this and they thought they could find a way to just get their idea, you know, through the process. But there just wasn't enough to the idea, I'm guessing, um, that made it interesting. Uh, apparently, during the story, the two characters, main characters, escape the uh, research lab and they meet other newts, and that's kind of the plot twist of the movie. Oh, wait, no, they didn't have to mate after all. They're not the last two newts. We've got uh, weird hybrid newts <laughs> that are like eight heads that are science experiments gone wrong. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's some concept art from the movie. I'm just basing that off. Um, and we got a bunch of other characters of uh, the same species. It's They're not the last two newts after all. Um, I think this reminds me of another animated movie. And you guys, 
um, can you know name your guesses in the in the comments in the description. Um, I've seen an animated movie before. I can't remember what it was where it starts off with two characters thinking they're the only one of their kind that exists and then they find out there's so many more of their kind. Uh, and it's on the tip of my tongue. You guys in the co you guys watching this, I know, I know you guys know, oh, it's this. And I'm just trying to think of it while you're watching and it, it's really infuriating me that I can't, I can't think. Oh, there it is, Madagascar, Escape to Africa. Um, kind of, kind of similar, I guess, sort of, in a way. <laughs> I mean, they're being researched by scientists and animals in the zoo. Same shit, you could almost say, sort of, not really. Um, yeah, you know, Brad Bird, good on him for being like, oh, I'm willing to do this. Uh, I've also got another idea. And then people just slowly, gradually being like, oh, let's just forget about this one. No trailer was ever released. There was nothing but a poster and a logo and concept art of the characters. That's it. That's all that was released for this. Um, technically lost media because there would be a lot of storyboards that would have been made up for this that were never meant to be released to the public because they don't like talking about their big budget movies, these massive companies that never came off the cutting room floor. Um, not even the cutting room floor for this. It is, it is generally unknown if anything was animated for Newt. I don't think anything was actually animated, but I think there's a lot of forms of lost media like storyboards and, you know, scripts and stuff that do exist from this movie. And it just wasn't coming along in the, you know, the normal Pixar fashion of how a movie's meant to come along. They had very lofty standards. And after so many hits, after, you know, they've got Cars, which was a pretty good movie in my opinion. The Incredibles came before Cars. Finding Nemo came before The Incredibles. Um, and after Cars, you've got Ratatouille, Up, so many good movies. Uh, Wall-E, watched that recently. That's a great movie, Wall-E, good movie. And then you got the big Toy Story 3 being released in 2010. It's like, what next? Newt. <laughs> that was so awkward the way I did this. I spat just before across the room. I hope that's on camera, me trying to name all the Pixar movies. It did seem like a big step down. And it was kind of, um, yeah, uh, uh, look, you can theorize as much as you can. Was the person who came up with this just 100% sure that this was going to be made if he got to a certain level of production because no other Pixar movie had ever been cut before at any point in production? Only ideas had been flown around for different ideas for different movies. Um, maybe. Maybe he thought that, or whoever came up with this thought that it was going to happen. Um, but... It's really fascinating that such a big company like Pixar, you know, because of their conventions of if an idea gets off the ground, we're doing it. Like if this is an idea and we start working on it, it's going to happen. Because that's a convention of Pixar, uh, that's probably why there's only been one. And this is the only one that never got off the ground. And also Pixar was in a transition phase. No company can be at the top forever. There's eventually got to be a, a slide down. And I think Pixar was at the start of that. Considering Brave was nowhere near as good as Toy Story 3, Up, um, all of them really, Wall-E, Ratatouille, like Brave, you don't put in that category of those movies. Cars, even Cars is pretty good in my opinion. You know, all the Toy Story movies and, and Finding Nemo, it's nothing like that Brave. So you can tell that they're, they're changing departments, they're going through a transition phase and they're not going to release the best stuff. And this was kind of, something that I reckon would have been even less material, even less of interest than Brave. And um, yeah, it just wasn't working. So, and I think the audience kind of taps into that. It's like, oh, well, Pixar can't be great forever. There's got to be at least one that's eh. It's not like 7.5 or above out of 10. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what this probably would have been. It's worthy of being released one day i don't know bits that are in pieces that have been made of this i think when pixar reaches some sort of milestone and anniversary and you know they're celebrating their past they might be like hey this was a movie that we worked on for a little bit and we never got to releasing but here's some little animations from it It'd be amazing if there were scenes animated from this i'd be very surprised it'd really fascinate me um but it's in a podcast form today guys as usual, that's my two cents on Newt. If you're, if you're watching this for the first time, you're like, hey, you're just like guessing, you're just doing, it's a podcast. Um, I just guess stuff. 
I just talk about, I open things up to discussion, um, to the comments uh, with this podcast. Um, people can have their say in the comments because there's not enough information about this. I've done a few episodes recently where I just want to talk about a topic that has not much information but really interests me in a shorter form episode and that is Newt. Very interesting or uninteresting, I guess, if, if it were released. So guys, I have three videos coming up on this channel. I'll say it at the end of every single podcast for the next five podcasts. I apologize. They, those three videos coming up on the channel in a few weeks, they are nothing like any of the videos I will upload before them or after them. They're three special event videos that have nothing to do with lost media. I'm warning people so that when it comes up on the channel, they don't go, oh no, he's changing his content. What is he doing? Um, they're just some fun videos uh, I decided to upload that are just one-offs. Those three will never, like I said, nothing will be uploaded to the channel uh, that isn't lost media. They're the only three things that will ever be uploaded to this channel that have nothing to do with lost media. Anyway, the only three videos. I uh, just want to do my usual warning the audience uh, that that's coming on the channel at the end of every episode until uh, I finish making episodes, filming them for a little while and go away on my trip, which should be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching episode 72 of the Lost Media Podcast. That's it. That's Newt. Newt. Oh, 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 oh.